What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and once again recapping the news but if you're not checking out SneakerFiles.com that's where we post it first but the highlights of the video would be the Air Jordan 2 alumni I think those are cool but we'll get into that in a bit also there's a whole Air Jordan Wings collection that's being showcased in Beaverton, Oregon at the Nike World Headquarters as well we got the Air Jordan 11 Low GS Blue Moon and there's a few more we got stuff from Adidas we got stuff from Nike you know all the works ASICs but without wasting too much of your time let's jump into the video now to start off this news I wanted to incorporate a video that we did last night on the Air Jordan 1 OG Royal now a lot of people were claiming that the shoes were fake because the laces were rolled instead of like tied up in the traditional way now this video is not here just to defend myself and fine line 1721 but also give a heads up even though i authenticated the shoes in front of you guys the r d do connect the nike air it rolls over just like it usually would and what i didn't show was on the inside of, or the opposite side of the insole it has the traditional glue lines everything checks out but it was those laces now I'm gonna put a link in the description below and that's gonna point you to a video I don't know this individual at all there's no ties whatsoever but it appears he sneaks in the back of a stock room at Foot Lock or not Foot Locker but a uh, Foot Action or Champ something along those lines and you can tell by the box stickers there you will see that the laces are rolled up like that now some are going to come rolled like that while some will come in your traditional form it's going to happen um, what you want to look out for is if they come with white laces so I'm letting you guys know heads up I mean I know that another youtuber I'm not gonna drop the name has said if the laces are rolled up like that they are fake which is very untrue because these came from the same place he bought his so my point being is that even though the laces are rolled up that's how some are going to come from retailers it's going to depend on various factors and to be honest we all know that Jordan brand doesn't necessarily do things by the book 100% of the time a6 is dropping the Easter pack for 2017 first up we have the gel light 3 as you can see we have like this pink kind of reddish shade that wraps the toe runs across the panels and to the heel and then up top we have birch as far as materials go we do have suede across the base we got mesh on the liner and of course perforations completing the look on this pair is white across the midsole then we got a gum outsole with some speckled detailing next we have the gel light 5 and i'm not really sure how this pair ties into easter but they do feature birch across the uppers and then we have coffee brown that wraps the toe and heel as well as a suede construction and neoprene on the liner. Once again, white on the midsole, a gum outsole with speckled detailing. Currently, they are dropping at sites overseas like the Goodwill Out. I'm sure that a stateside release will happen sometime soon, but make sure to check back for updates. It seems like every day there's a new Adidas EQT popping up, and once again, as you guys probably already know, here is the latest. This is the Adidas EQT Support RF green camo now it features a green base but on the overlays we have camouflage of course then we got some white on the heel midsole three stripes branding as well as hints of black and turbo red completing the look is gum on the outsole for those interested in purchasing they're set to drop on march 23rd 2017 at shops like asphalt gold now as far as a stateside drop i'm not 100 percent sure they might come on the same day or if not maybe a couple weeks from now but make sure to update you on that. For the latest NMD pack, we have the Adidas NMD Hong Kong pack that features the NMD R1 and the NMD R2. Inspiration for the pack came from the city's bright lights. First up, we have the R2, which features a black base. Then we have diagonal lines across the hill, a little bit of red and white across the boost. Next is the R1, which features a similar color theme, a little bit more red used. As you can see, it's on one of the EVA pod overlays. Both pairs will feature Xeno 3M reflective technology on the laces and the three stripes branding. Both are set to drop this Friday, March 24th at select Adidas Originals retailers. No retail price as of yet. Make sure to update you on sneakerfiles.com. Nike has just released the LeBron Soldier 10 Flyees. Now here's some information from Nike's press release. 
Nike's Fly Ease technology continues to evolve with the debut of the new Nike LeBron Soldier 10 Fly Ease. While the earliest iterations of Fly Ease focused on replacing traditional lacing systems with something more accessible, the already laceless Nike LeBron Soldier 10 model expands the platform to consider another opportunity, improved entry. The LeBron Soldier 10 Fly Ease also features an upgrade to the zipper which lies at a flatter angle than the previous Fly Ease shoes and allows for an easier pull around the ankle. Three color options are available, one in white nice, the other in black and gum, and the third in blue. Available now at Nike for $140. Now I know this pair might not be a lot of people's style, but here is a look at a couple upcoming colorways of the Nike Aqua Sock 360. The design is based off the original Nike Aqua Sock, which was a part of the ACG line and meant for water sports, but this pair more takes on a lifestyle look and feel. As far as the build goes, we have engineered mesh across the uppers, which as you can see is more of a slip on shoe. And then we have an external hill counter and a flexible outsole. Three colorways will release, one in total crimson, the other in dark gray, and the third in sore blue. Now there isn't a set release date, but they're gonna drop sometime during spring 2017. No retail price as of yet. The Nike Air Max Plus is dropping in a new colorway. This pair has kind of like an Oakland Raiders feel or even a San Antonio Spurs look to it. Featuring a black base, we have cool gray and wolf gray mixed on the TPU overlays as well as the midsole. Completing the look is black used once again on the outsole. Now the Air Max Plus usually doesn't get much love in the States. It's more of a European drop or even in Asia, but they have released that overkill. I'm not sure if a stateside side drop will happen on this particular colorway, but stay tuned. Showing up overseas and in Europe multiple times since December of 2016, the Nike Air Max 97 OG Silver Bullet is finally releasing in the States. So I'm sure you guys already know the whole history behind the shoes, so I'm going to skip all that and just give you the info. They're going to drop on April 15, 2017. Retail price will be 175 Now this is going to be a quick strike drop and what I'm hearing is it's going to be along the lines of a limited release. So expect this to be a hard to obtain shoe and probably sell out really fast on the sneakers app. Before the Oklahoma City Thunder took on the Golden State Warriors last night, Russell Westbrook was seen in a new pair of his signature shoe, the Jordan Westbrook 0.2 Why Not PE. Featuring a black base, white on the midsole and outsole, the highlight would be why not on one side, Russell on the other, but the look is done with letters being cut out of a magazine, almost something you would give in a ransom letter. I highly doubt this pair is going to release, and if it did, I'm not sure how many people would actually pick these up. Let me know if you would pick them up if they did drop. This next bit of information came from Soul Heat on Feet. The Air Jordan 1 is releasing with Flyknit. So as of now, there isn't any images that have leaked, but there are a few color descriptions. In October, we're gonna have a black, white, and game royal pair. And then in November, a wolf gray, gum yellow, white and golden harvest will release retail price will be 180 once images become available i'll make sure to update you jordan brand now has an entire air jordan wings collection on display at the nike world headquarters in beaverton oregon what's interesting is the one which we previously showcased and the air jordan 12 are different from what will potentially release and what has released. Now I don't have any information if these are going to drop, if Jordan Brand is going to drop multiple pairs, but in any case, make sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna finish this with a clip provided by PO2345, which shows you what's on display. I mean, it's not everything, but it's a good amount. We got another pair of the Air Jordan 11 Low, which will drop during April. This is a GS exclusive known as Blue Moon. Now the nickname is because of the shade of blue, which is used across the uppers. This time around, instead of using patent leather and mesh, up top we have what appears to be either nubuck or suede. It's kind of hard to tell in the pictures. And then across where it would be patent leather, we have this textured leather, which kind of looks a little bit flaky. Now to give credit for these images, there's like 18 people that have been floating around, but what appears to be the main people who provided the images is Scoop 208 and Pinoy, but they're set to drop on April 22nd, 2017. Retail price will be 130. I feel like the Air Jordan 2 does not get enough love. 
Here is something that is coming up from the brand known as the Air Jordan 2 Alumni. Now there is history behind the shoe regardless of what it may look like. So up front we obviously have what appears to be the OG Chicago but on the hill is a bit of blue. Jordan actually wore this pair during the alumni game North Carolina versus UCLA back on June 28th 1987. Now I can't tell you if the pair Michael Jordan was wearing during the game had these little details but on the hill one of them reads MJ the other one reads 6 2887 which pays respect to the game at the time of shooting there isn't a release date or a retail price however i believe it'll probably be 190 i'll make sure to update you with the info though and that recaps the news like always we post it first on sneakerfalls.com and then we take it to youtube with the exception of the air jordan one fly knit that article hasn't been written yet but wanted to share that bit of information now as far from what i like in the video would be the jordan 2 alumni i mean it's pretty dope i can appreciate the history although the the university blue or the shade of blue that's used across the hill it does throw me off a bit but like i said the history is what makes me like them other than that i like the air max 97 silver bullet i mean everybody that likes the 97 that is like the staple that is the pair everybody goes to at least what it appears to be and then the air max plus that kind of has the oakland raiders or san antonio spursville i always like the air max plus i remember having the og pair and um, I just feel like that's another pair that doesn't get enough love from the Air Max line. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked in this video, what you disliked. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.